Hi Metalheads, willkommen zu Metal Forever, Show Nummer 180 am 13.09.2021. Schön, dass ihr wieder dabei seid. Wenn ich heute ein bisschen komisch anhöre, das hat auch einen Grund, ich war seit zwei Tagen im Bett gelegen, habe mich jetzt einigermaßen auskuriert, aber bin noch nicht ganz am, am Damm, aber der Show must go on. Und darum rocken wir heute gemeinsam, erste Show der Woche und geil, wer auf, ich muss gleich sagen, wer auf, auf schwedischen Power Metal steht, der kommt heute auf seine Kosten. Eine geile Band mit einem Wahnsinnsänger und der Sänger ist auch heute zu Gast. Ich rede von Fraternia. So, bleibt dran, Freunde, das wird ein cooler Abend. Und ich würde mal sagen, erstmal fangen wir mal mit unserem Metalhead of the Day. Und das ist ein lieber Freund von Motor Jesus, der Chris. Ja, lieber Chris, sehr, sehr cooler Typ, Motor Jesus, geile Band. So, liebe Freunde, bevor es losgeht, let the madness begin mit der Werbung und dann let the madness begin. Here we go. Die Metal is Forever Rockcast Show wird präsentiert von Time for Metal, die neuesten Reviews, Interviews, Eventberichte, natürlich alle News rund um Metal, Rock und Metalcore. Time for Metal. Fliesen Spitzner, ihr zuverlässiger Handwerker für alle Aufgaben rund um das Verlegen von Fliesen, Platten, Mosaik und Naturstein. Luftraum Fürstenfeldbruck, die Rock- und Metal-Kneipe. Jede Woche von Donnerstag bis Samstag Rock und Metal vom Feinsten. Der Vegan Ashes of Rock'n'Roll. Veganer Lifestyle ist lebendiger Rock'n'Roll. Wir sind Rebellen, wir sind Veganer, wir lieben das Leben und leben es mit jeder Menge Spaß. Backguard Studios. Zusammenarbeit mit Indiscreet Audio. Das Metal Dream Team für die metallischen Produktionen vom ersten Ton bis zum fertigen Produkt seid ihr bei uns an der richtigen Stelle. Meldet euch unverbindlich bei uns. The Metal is Forever. Schwammerhandler. Fanshop Story More. Der offizielle Partner der Metal is Forever Rockcast Show. Rock of Angels Records von Metal Fans für Metal Fans. The Home of Rock and Metal. Roar! Ja, besten Dank an die Sponsoren. So, liebe Freunde, es geht los. Und da Fraternia ja bei Rock of Franchise Records sind, habe ich gedacht, gleich ein Label-Partner hinterher oder vorher gleich mal. Und zwar einer meiner absoluten Lieblingsscheiben, was Roa Rebers rausgebracht hat. Ich rede jetzt nicht von Black and Damned, weil die sind auch geil. <lacht> Aber das ist einer der absoluten Favoriten und der fängt heute an. Hier sind Monument und Lions Heart. We'll 
Lionheart, das war ein Monument. Jetzt wisst ihr, wo die Reise heute hingeht. In diesem Stil geht es auch weiter heute. Äh, alle da draußen, die auf Facebook zuschauen, geht mal gleich rüber auf YouTube, denn nach einer Stunde könnte es weg sein und die Sendung, wird, die Sendung wird eh nach der Show wieder gelöscht. Also rübergehen auf YouTube und jetzt geht gleich mal abonnieren, dass ihr wisst, wann die nächste Show ist, nämlich morgen, 20 Uhr, von Montag bis Freitag. So, Freunde, es geht los. Ich freue mich jetzt, um es gleich zu sagen, ich habe schon eine Dreiviertelstunde mit dem Sänger gequatscht, ein super geiler Typ, das wird lustig heute wieder und freut euch, aber ihr müsst wieder ein bisschen Englisch lernen heute, das wird in Englisch, also Bahnhof, Heli, wenn du, wenn du schon da bist, okay? Jetzt geht's los, hier sind Fraternia und Reborn!
was für ein Brett. Das war Reborn von Fraternia. Und der, der gerade geschrien hat, ich habe heute zum Beispiel, ich glaube, wegen meiner Grippe, habe ich da äh, äh, laut runterregeln müssen, weil es mir schon wehgetan hat fast. <lacht> so, Metal muss wehtun eigentlich, ne? aber hier ist er. Ich freue mich jetzt auf Pasi, der Sänger von Fraternia. Pasi. Hi. Hi. Greetings. Greetings. Greetings to Sweden. Yeah, greetings to the Philippines. Thank you. We had a already 45 minutes great talk. Yeah, um, about everything. <laughs> everything. I know you I know your backstory and you know my story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically Pasi. like old friends where is, now. Where's the rest of the gang? Well, the guys are a bit a bit shy, I think, and um they have little kids and stuff, so It, it becomes like hard to do. So you here know, I am. I heard, this, I heard this many times before. And during the show, sometimes we, we got the, the whole band in the show. Normally, it's, yeah, you know, but then, you know what? Send them the links. Maybe the, the one of the other that come in. We can try. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, I've, I've sent the links to them already. So Send if they say, come, hey, they come. The <laughs> if you're watching, guys, you're welcome to join. Yes. <laughs> Returnia, I greet you. If you don't come in, greetings to you. Mm. Pasi, our our show starts always with the humble beginning, how everything starts for you as an artist, as a musician, as a singer. Can you go back to your, to your childhood, how you start? What was your first instrument or was uh, the vocal? You told me some, some amazing story from your family. Maybe you can tell me later. Yeah, uh, about the voices in your family. Yeah, yeah. So, how everything starts with you, Pazzi? Well, my first vocal appearance was on this old cassette tapes my dad did for my grandmother in Finland. I was maybe two years old, and I sang Finnish folk songs to her. I, I, I believe it was her birthday. I don't remember because I was so small. So that's where I started to sing, but I always was the singing kind of guy, you know, when you're in the school, the teachers call mom and dad, he sings a lot during the lessons and disturbs the others, you know, maybe you can talk to him to be a little bit more quiet. <laughs> uh, and, um, but I like joining a band, I, I suppose I was too shy uh, during that age and uh, further on. So I was maybe 16, 17 when, um, A school buddy of mine asked me if I wanted to join a cover band and sing in rock and roll songs like Johnny Be Good and something I didn't listen to, but I he convinced me to try and from there it started, you know, and um, it didn't last that long. And um, then I formed a band in my hometown with childhood friends and uh, we started the metal stuff, which evolved first, into a band. What was yeah? the first band? You ever thought, oh my God, that's it? I mean, you, you remember the moment you, you heard the first metal band? Did you say, oh, or the hard rock band? That for for me, that was like uh, igniting the flame. I was kind of late into metal music. I'm born '75, so uh, I was in the late '80s actually when I first started to listen to any music, uh, uh, like. Style-wise, I could listen to a whole branch of music, but and for me it was um, Guns N' Roses actually in the late '80s. Was okay. my first real big band. I, I used to dream that I played on our train station in my little village, and I was the only audience and had them for myself, you know. <laughs> so that you, was you, like you, the, didn't, you didn't dream you'd, you'd be Axl Rose. Yeah, 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 and I have also yeah. imitated him. I was very young and foolish, so I tried to be like him, you know, but I'm glad I turned out to be me. <laughs> well, was it the, 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 the first or the second album from Guns N' Roses? Uh, it was the first album. It was the Appetite, Appetite for, for Destruction. Destruction, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I basically album. knew every song. What a, what a debut album, huh? Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. And when, when, when you started to, to realize you have this high voice, I mean, did you train well, that your voice? Came later on because I, I really didn't, I, I have, I can sing very low as well. If I want to, um, not, not as good in key that 
like I do with the high voice. But I, I trained a lot of high voice, but but uh, it was um, listening to German Halloween stuff and trying to follow Kiske. And in the beginning, it was very hard. You know, I couldn't actually come up to those notes, but. Suddenly I realized now it's easy. I, I suppose I practiced in the shower a lot and um, and started to sing that kind of music with the, the band Ironware, uh, which we formed. So that was like the power metal start for me. I was already in middle that I, I recorded one of one of the the the, the murderer was the song. Yeah, you, you had an album uh, uh, a tribute to Halloween. Yeah, the Keepers of Jericho, of Jericho, part two. Keepers of Jericho, yes, part two. <laughs> yeah. And then do, during the recording, I stopped it. I said, you know what? No, I don't want to do this because you have so much great stuff on your own. Why yeah. why, why, why I bring a cover? you? Because then people will, will uh, judge, hmm, no, Halloween is better or this, no. And, and yeah. I, I stopped it in the middle. During the song, I stopped it. I said, no, no, I, you have so much. You have three albums, Watchons. And fairy tales 2000 a nightmare story 2002 and the gathering 2019 what's happened between 2002 and 2019 well it's a long gap, no? yeah it's a long gap yeah i know we we were in a point with the band you know we start to grow up and be adults and um kind of the fraternia band kind of was put to ice i i can't recall we ever said let's call it a quits but let's uh, like calm it down we there was some personal issues within the band not against each other but you know family life and stuff uh and uh, all of a sudden 17 years had passed you know um during that time we tried me and thomas we we tried to write some songs and some of the songs actually are on the gathering uh, it was like i can't remember 2009 2011 we wrote some songs and tried to start the band again but it wasn't the right time you know uh, having diaper kids uh, and um, like living in a house where everything I, I couldn't sing in my studio because i would hear knocking on the floor you know in the ceiling shut, shut up down there you're disturbing the kids so <laughs> so uh, it was like natural to start again and we felt we had a couple of more songs in us and uh, here we are we made gathering and we are actually really pleased just to know that we could do it again and during this time you 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 worked on your voice but to be honest yeah i was i was in in a couple of bands i was in a band called the blaze and we only did a release in japan with that band and i also sang in some cover bands uh, but i remember and this is actually true i was several years without being in a band it was somewhere around 2011 and i got depressed you know because i wasn't in a band because i couldn't do the thing i wanted to do the most i had my daytime yeah. job so i had actually to call thomas and say i'm i'm i feel like a wreck here you know we need to do something i i need to and I felt the urge to just rehearse. So we do, did two rehearses, me and the old bass player, Peter and um, Thomas. And it was enough, you know. I was back on my legs and the happy guy again. So uh, I've always tried to keep some kind of, but I've never like been actively practicing my voice. Before, before we go to the next song, uh, Reborn. This uh, you wrote as a lyric? Yeah, yeah. Yes. This is a great, great track, and this was the, the perfect open because you have, we have this, this high, this, this melody. This is like a, like a, a, a hook, and I, I love this. Da, 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 da. This is a great. Yeah, great. I, it's I love one it. of my favorites too. Um, yes. It's about the the wheel of time. If you heard that fantasy series by Robert Jordan, uh, so it's a fantasy based. It's, uh, is your sound now gone, or is my sound? You hear me? No, it's it's your sound is gone. Oh shit! Why? Is das bei euch draußen auch so, dass der Sound von ihm weg ist, oder ist es bloß bei mir so? Anyway, I play the song, yeah. uh, and then then you, you lock in, lock out. Aber mein Sound ist noch da, oder? 
da draußen. I think it's 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 yours, Pasi. Okay. Okay. Also, okay. yes, I, I'm still on. Okay. So, dann machen wir gleich mal weiter mit dem nächsten Song. Dann hoffentlich geht, geht der Sound wieder. Und zwar äh, verdammt guter Song. Geht auch ab wie Sau. Grimbar the Great. Here we go.
from the album the Nightmare Story. Yeah. Yes, you are here. <laughs> you can hear me. Yeah. Thank yes. you. <laughs> like you Thank said you. when we talked before, always something. <laughs> always something happened. Yeah. But you see, no problem. Don't get all excited. No problem. So, Reborn. You just thought to tell you something about Reborn, the song before. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It... Yeah, so Reborn is basically based on the Wheel of Time series, the book series by Robert Jordan. Uh, I, I'm, I'm still a teenager in my head. I still read fantasy books. I haven't matured yet. So, I, I, according to me, it's even better than Lord of the Rings and everything. It's the best series there is. So, I, I figured maybe write something about that. It's an epic story, and it's just a, a little piece of that, sort of. And okay. um, it turned out really great. I sent uh, the link before, and I have the link already in the in the chat. Mm. So for all the thousand, falls you interested on the album hot from from Returnia, there is the shop, and I, I post again. Here is the shop. So, and you, you are in in Facebook as well, right? Facebook. Yeah, yeah. In, everywhere. Yeah. YouTube. In of Instagram is uh, isn't that active, but we are in. We have a Facebook fraternity official and um, uh, Instagram and yeah. Green border crate. It's the opener from the a nightmare story. Yeah. From 2002, and to be honest. If I listen to this from 2002 and 2019, I hear no difference. You're same great. So no, thank you very much. Already in 2002, great voice, especially the high. This is this is your your gold. I yeah, it's my gold. Yeah, and uh, and uh, and the curse as well because age uh, can make you lose that. Not for me yet, but. I have noticed uh, when we do the set list that I need maybe a couple of lower songs just to endure the high notes. But I'm guessing in 10 years, I, maybe we have to tune down, <laughs> drop the guitars a bit, but hopefully not. I'm happy I'm 46, 45 years, 46 soon in October. So still able to sing um, high we as a blessing. A, we have a couple of, of singers in the audience right now. Mm -hmm. What would you uh, uh, your advice to keep you, especially to keep your high voice in shape? How you prepare before the show? Do you have, have uh, any preparations, or you like Ronnie James? Do you you need a, a, a sip of, of a Guinness and then go on stage and, and sing like a god? So how is it with you? Well, I in my younger days I never actually warmed up because it was so natural just to get on stage. Um, these days I I do like five ten minutes warm up. Uh, and it's like the whole register from uh, low to the high. Do some falsetto screams. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And ah, 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 ah. <laughs> all those um, singer. And your colleagues say, "Shut the fuck up!" This is not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need to be uh, by myself. I usually lock myself in the toilet. <laughs> and um, and uh, and then I think it's important to sing it right not to mistreat your voice by doing it with the wrong technique uh, and yes. uh, i suppose i'm doing it by natural because i am not like taking any lessons or something like that but i know many singers mess up their voice very early because they do it the wrong way and the chords are like this. yeah they are like gone uh, so mainly to do it right and uh, not feel pain if it if it hurts, it's not right. Yes, mm. I did this at, uh, in the beginning in '83. Mm. I screamed. I have did this. I actually before I, I joined my first metal band, I could exactly sing "Child in Time" like Ian Gillen exactly. Mm. That's why my guitar player actually found me. Say, what the fuck? You know, he was standing next to me in the discotheque, and I sang full full blast. You know, the mm. high. The moment I started the band, I screamed, and that was I, I fucked up my my, my voice for yeah. years. 
Yeah. And now, in the end, now, now it's it's coming back. Now I can do it again. Strange. There was yeah. a block blockade, and I don't know what was it. And my brother has a theory about my voice because I we we had a. 17 year pause so to speak so there wasn't any touring or any sort of like i didn't sing that much as a normal singer does so i had uh, 17 years of relaxing my voice <laughs> so maybe it's like maybe it's right yeah maybe if i had sung all those 17 years especially the nightmare story songs which are pretty high uh, maybe, who knows maybe i would be like fucked up in my voice like others are uh, at my age or not my age, but a little bit older. Green Border Great. Uh, it's very, very much Halloween style. This could yeah. be of the, of the Keep of the Seven Keys part two, could easily be on, on this on this album. It's well, a, I'm it's, glad you say it because um, it's not intended as, as a copy, but uh, it makes no, me no, glad copy. because no, no, Halloween no. is one of my favorite bands. No, so. no, no copy. Oh, of course not. No. It's your own song. Yeah, but yeah. Style wise, this could be easily, and it's a great, it's great track. What is the story, Grimball? Well, the whole Nightmare story is a concept album. Okay. So uh, if anybody's lucky enough to have the CD, there are like a little snippets before each song, what it's about. And it's, it's the intro to the story uh, about a guy who uh, lies in bed and goes to sleep, and he dreams the same dream night over and over again. And uh, he discovers there's a dream world within the dreams, sort of like Freddy Krueger, but this is like more fantasy. And he finds himself to be the chosen one, to be the hero of an epic saga. And there is this dark force he needs to defeat. But Grimbor, Grimbor was the great god that created the dreamland once. So he enters the realm of Grimbor, the land of Grimbor the Great within his dreams. Okay. It was a very fun time to write those songs because me and Thomas, we would like call each other every day, like sometimes 10 minutes between the calls. And yeah, what if this happens and this happens? You know, we came up, up with everything through phone calls and made this story. And um, so we just wanted to do a concept album. That was the idea. Uh, and Fraternia is a fantasy land, so it's like now there are many bands from sweden vandor and there are anatasia i don't know if it's a land though but you know uh, that does the same thing but it was pretty rare back then so so um it was fun to do it and uh, to create a story i love this kind of albums when you have a story you can you can follow up All right next song the flame yeah that's an old one <laughs> very old hmm? this is the oldest from from all today because I, I i chose from three albums some songs but i feature today more from the last one from hmm? the gathering hmm? and the flame what is the story about the flame the flame is about to find when to find that inner strength like a burning flame within when you're down when you need to rise up like to show like a boxer who's been defeated you know the inner inner strength and uh, basically it's about that you know there it's within us all we just need to find it and it's also in some fantasy themes uh, uh, but uh, basically the ba basic plot in is is to find that inner flame and it's it's in every heart you know it's from an album, Watchers and Fairy Tales, mm -hmm. right? From yeah, yeah, Watchers and Fairy Tales. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So after after this video, uh, we talk about the album, okay? Yeah. Here sure we go. Thing. Here yeah. is Fraternia, The Flame.
Well, I call this an, uh, a fade out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a long outro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have a member of the band called Oscar? No, not sure. Not sure. Because we have I have special guests after the, after our interview. I have another band coming up today, so don't. Okay. Okay. So you have no Oscar in the band. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oscar. He's a drummer. He's a drummer. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I thought you asked for a band named Oscar. <laughs> no. No. So remember. So that no. No. Have, he can join. He's more than welcome. I, told, I, you know, I have to be careful now because we have another band today. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, so. so okay, I told you we've been not alone. Here we go. Maybe we get more of the band. Oh, Oscar. maybe. Oscar. <laughs> How are you doing, Oscar? I'm doing fine. Thank you? Oh, you're very quiet. Don't you hear me? It's okay now. Yes. You have... Can you do landscape? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yes. Hello? I'm on this mobile phone, so... Yeah. Now everything's fine. Yes, the... Quit job working late. Sorry. Thanks for coming. I told you, Pastor. Yeah, great. Maybe nice we to get see more you. The band. If they say, oh, if Oscar come, I come too, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Just rest of the right. guys. Actually, uh, I guess, Oscar, you was not part uh, in, in the, the last recording, right? Uh, Because it was from. from, from uh, uh, From Not to do From 2000. Yeah, he's on the gathering, but the, the watch and some Pharisees, and um, he's the new guy, <laughs> him okay. and Niklas. Yeah, so they joined for when we restarted. Yeah, but I played with Passe before in Passe selling a blade. Yeah, I also was a drummer in that Jap uh, Japanese release band, A Blaze. So that's you, how we knew each you, other. You brought your, 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 it's a guitar player or a bass player? Uh, drummer. Uh, Asian guy. He's the drummer. The drummer. Yeah. Really? No, yeah. Uh, Oscar, Oscar. No, but, but, but uh, your colleague in the band with the Asian uh, look. Uh, we have, uh, the, it's Thomas. Where, where is he from? Uh, he's, uh, well, he's from Sweden, but he's uh, adopted from Korea. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, he looks not Swedish. I mean, if I look, Oscar, this is Swedish. <laughs> yeah. He green, yeah. yeah. He's more Swedish. Long blonde hair and blue eyes. That's so. that's yeah. for, for the girl. That is for the girls, you know. So a typical bimbo. <laughs> all the girls. <laughs> no, normally, normally the singer gets the girls, and now you see, here we go. Oscar is in the house. Yeah, he's the good-looking one in our band. <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> Same same story with you, like with Passy. How everything starts with you? How you became a drummer? Uh, it started when I think it was ninety five, ninety six. My father brought me uh, my first drum, and I asked, like, you know, drum and everything. And one day he bought me a first drum. It, that was back in. Yeah, in the woods in the dock of Osh. <laughs> <clears throat> so it was, uh, I could not play then, but I played, uh, what do you say? You, the records you know, you listen to. And that's the, that's the path I went. What was, what was your, your, your first drum hero? Uh, you remember? Drum hero. I listen to so much bands, but uh, of course, Mike Portnoy is a very good drummer. Uh, but not like not uh, like an inspiration or, or something. But yeah, but yeah. there are so many good out there. Portnoy is a, a mesh. But the first one. <laughs> uh, I must uh, think. <laughs> uh, First one. I liked uh, Stratovarius back then. Um, no, I don't know. You're no. Michael. Uh, yeah. I forgot his name now, but yeah, he was a big inspiration back then, you know, to play fast and 
duration of stuff, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. So, yep. Your, 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 I don't know. And now, I don't know. Yeah, I have forgot. Now, uh, I found some, two videos actually, live videos. So this is the real deal, but it's not not big place. Is somewhere on the roof or where, where, rooftop or, or, or where, where, where was this shows? Now, the venue is an old venue in Gothenburg, Sweden, uh, and uh, many big bands that play there actually. But it's a smaller venue, maybe uh, how many could fit on the top floor? Stick your fingers, 500 maybe. Uh, if uh, it's really crowded, there's a balcony as well uh, where people can stand. Mm -hmm. uh, It looks smaller in the videos than it is, but uh, it's not a big venue, you know. But it's uh, very, very old uh, and uh, known on the west coast of Sweden. I've been there, watched many bands. Okay. I chose the video Guardians of the Night. Yeah. We, we talk first, or we, we watch the video first and then we talk? Can we do it like this time? Yeah, we can uh, we can listen to it and then talk. <laughs> so, so, song I've never heard about the Turner Gardens of the Night. It was the first song I ever heard of the Turner. Okay. So here we go. Paternia Life in 2019, I guess it was right? Yeah. Okay. Guardians of the Night.
Well, it was a short song. Normally you yeah, have seven minute songs, but this is a yeah. short song. Yeah, the, and uh, it's actually one of the most popular ones from that album with the ballad song called The Dragon Song. Uh, and Watchers of Fairy Tales was an album about, uh, it was like legends and uh, like the title say, War Chants and Fairy Tales from within the land of Fraternia. Okay. So this was uh, like this guardian order. Uh, later on, people <laughs> of the Game of Thrones have like combined, like if the Nightwatch had a song, it would be it. <laughs> the Guardians of the Night, you know, but it's not about we. I have never heard of the Game of Thrones when we wrote it. Great database uh, work, Oscar, I must say, like a machine. Right. <laughs> It's a uh, very fun uh, song to play. So, I would love to, to, to hear this live. I think this is massive. Yeah, it's, um, it's, um, he gets sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> That's drama do. Yeah. But he doesn't have my belly, you know. I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't manage. I'm, uh, I need to lose some weight watching that video. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I tell you what, if you want to, if you like to, to, to lose weight, and I tell you what, avoid meat, white flour, and I eat every day uh, 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 porridge for breakfast now. Porridge? What porridge? Porridge. porridge. We have, oh uh, yeah, we have like um, different <clears throat> kinds of porridge in Sweden, but it's the oat porridge that's supposed to be healthy, I think. Yes. Yeah. Months, yeah. I found out this. Uh, this uh, I saw Brian May, Brian May from Queen. Yeah. Months ago, months ago, he uh, they asked him what is his favorite food, and he said hmm, porridge. I think, <laughs> and then then I I, I Google it and then then say oh shit you know and then I tried it and since two and a half months now every day I eat it. I love it. I'm addicted now. With nuts, yeah, and, you know, and fruits, banana and fruits, perfect. It's it keeps the hunger away. Yes, and and it's very 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 healthy. I I really really uh, recommend this. If you want to lose weight, that's it. You know, avoid white flour stuff and sugar and all the stuff, and then you lose weight. Oh, but don't don't expect it. Oh. Don't expect this to do in in two or three weeks. See it in the long run. In one year, yeah. you will see the different. In two year, big different. <clears throat> So I lost over 20 kilos. So that's good. All right, back to music. Before we <clears throat> start to, to talk about food here. <laughs> yeah, it, it's become a food show. <laughs> But I like it's, it. it's 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 perfect. It's perfect because for the next song, because change of life is the next song. Ah, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, not, nice input there. <laughs> yeah. You know, we have a special guest now. Guess guess who is here? No. You like Greek food? It's my favorite food. <laughs> It's always a king. Ah. Oh, oh, Aki is in the house. Aki, yeah. Nice. Hi, Aki. Just, just to let you know, Aki is one of our partners from Metals Forever. Okay. Oh, cool. Yes. And he, he's, he managed our label. <laughs> He owns the label. Yeah, he owns the label. Yes. Yeah, he's the owner, the big boss. Big boss. Yeah, he's small, very thin, you know, very thin, very small. Maybe he eats lots of perch. With, with a big heart. <laughs> <laughs> Kalispera Aki, my lieber Aki. Schön, dass du vorbeischaust. But he, he, Aki is like, he speaks really good German, right? <laughs> yes, he was 40 yeah. years in Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I thought it was a Greek Greek, you know, living in Greece. And um, and so I saw actually on Facebook that he was uh, typing a lot of German. And He's I a, like, Swabian, a Swabian Greek. They might Sherlock Holmes gene put in, may ah, maybe he knows German. <laughs> I know. He speaks fluently German. He was 40 years in Germany. He, yeah. I think he, he thinks German, but lives now in, in, in Greek. Yeah. All right. So... Back to business now. Change of life. Great song. You know, I, I must say, 
three albums and you choose the best songs and for me this is my opinion and i always says maybe my our viewers to get bored because i tell always the same story i mm. listen in the dark i listen to your songs in the dark so i can really not not have see a video or whatever no i i listen to the music and then i choose the song i think fits the best for 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 the show and change of life is a great a great song what is the story the back story about change of life well uh, i tend to write sometimes uh, personal from my personal life and that is actually one of those songs and uh, uh, it's about like when feeling down and feeling like i can only kill the pain with hate and you realize that you're on the wrong path uh, thinking so uh, you and you realize you have to do something and you start to hope maybe if i can change this around change my life what if my life slowly starts to change uh, and it's like a dream uh, so that song is about that my personal inner demons sort of You know, last Friday we had a great artist called Milan Polak here who plays with Falco. He's a very, very big, big star in, in Austria in the 80s, mm -hmm. 90s. He gave that advice and this advice followed me through when I was in a bed because I'm a little bit sick, you know. So mm -hmm. I was thinking and I, know, I never forget this, what he said to me. He said, because somebody pranked him with a, with a recording. Somebody uh, put, put a, a woman on his in his answer machine so hello so uh, the night with you was beautiful and, and, and so <laughs> and 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 actually his 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 girlfriend attacked him with a knife after this you know so and and, and i and i i actually said i would i would freak out i would this would be revenge you know uh -huh. and then he said something and maybe it's a, a life changer too he said no why i why i i should should uh, invest my my energy in something like this or like a revenge and during this weekend i will think about this he's right why why you why you always revenge you know and mm -hmm. and you you lose the energy and it's a was a good advice to be honest yeah I, i will i will keep this in mind not action reaction you know you know it was a prank and okay It wasn't a good ending for, no. for, the, for, the, for the, the, the relationship, but change of life. I think we listen to the to the to the song first. Yeah. And we, uh, Oscar. Yes. You you wasn't a, a part of of you was part. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. I just watched it uh, again. I. FF uh, video, which we have no no video, I put the, the cover and mm. I animate a little bit, you know, so the people get dizzy. Mm. So, yeah, it's, like, yes. yeah, I understand a little bit German. I saw the comments. <laughs> yes, you, you you understand German? Boring. You know, I, I found it very, very boring. If this only is still, it's boring, and I, that, that's why I, I animate a little bit. So here is. Change of Life. Great song from the Thank album you. The Gathering. Let's 
What a killer track. And your yeah, voice, it's... amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But also, well, I'm, I'm when listening to it. I, I, I don't listen to music. I'm uh, doing a lot. I listen more to other stuff, like, you know, so, but listening to it now, uh, I think, like, I'm really impressed with all the other guys as well, you know. Um, Patrick, a uh, guitar player, I, I think he's like, yes, fantastic. He's, beyond. he's fantastic, actually. So yes. he's a real super, and all other guys as well. We have, like, absolute, absolute. It's amazing that all guys, like, we are like working, have daytime jobs nighttime jobs and we like still can do it and we record it ourselves and mix it in the studio so just to listen to it and uh, hear the quality that comes out is amazing i'm really impressed are you afraid it. about this song to play to play this song live because uh, this is one more. i think this, are you afraid of this song to play live because this is a very high high no high no 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 i'm not and I, and the thing with this song is that the because, because you, uh, most, sorry, most why, part why I is ask you because you you told me before the older you get and sometimes you go, oh shit then I have to do, do it live that's why I ask yeah yeah I, you know I can manage it live it's it's no problem but if I would do it ten times in a row the tenth time would be like a struggle <laughs> but uh, as it is now I, I I like to record so I can do it live. Uh, not to use the studio to enhance your voice uh, in ways that you won't be able to perform it live. Yeah. And uh, so that's the main thing, and uh, to be able to, to do it live as a singer. Otherwise, you're fooling people. But then I understand, like, Older singers, like, uh, for I don't like the hate for Wins Neil on the internet. I can see on Facebook, here's another awful show by Wins Neil, and then yeah, they're like, yeah. just and the guy is old, he's done it. And some people uh, say he never couldn't sing, but hey, he's a rock star, millions of fans, let him do what he likes the most. Absolutely. And, yeah, yes, so I don't I agree. Mm. It's it's real awful is, to read those. It's awful, yeah, it's true. Mm. <clears throat> they did it for for forty years, you know. Mm. You know, for all the people who bash do it forty years, and and let's see, and let's see how mm. you look, mm. how how fat is your belly, you know? Yeah, but the yeah. bashing is awful, you know. Yeah, they they like um, it's it's the thing he loves to do and has done for his whole life. And uh, to get those kind of comments, it's uh, it's disgraceful. I, I guess next year he will show us. Yeah. Next year, when when they are on tour on the stadium tour, I guess yeah. next year he show us he will lose twenty kilos or more. And yeah, one of my get... I have a very good friend. He's like the he works on Sweden's biggest heavy metal magazine, Sweden Rock Magazine. Yes. And uh, he was like, oh, Wins Neil can't sing anymore. And he was on a small gig, I don't know, maybe three years ago. And he did uh, his solo stuff. And he killed it. He was like, oh my God, he was great. So there's still stuff in him if he wants to, or if he has a bad, uh, good day, not a bad day. <laughs> I, have, I have hope, I have new hope for him. Oh, yeah, I hope. yeah, it's a song from you. <laughs> <laughs> you hope, yeah. <laughs> Another live track from the same same spot. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Who who mixes actually? Where the sound is is perfect for a live. I mean, uh, it it's it's actually taken from our in ear system. We have a uh, so the settings are made by the guy that mixes our albums. Okay. So we, we we use it. Oscar is the more technical one. I don't I don't touch that thing, <laughs> but he he does all the technical in the rehearsal room and on the stage, and he manages those stuff. So basically, we get like a, a USB stick, and we have the songs on it. Yeah, I just see that two of two members of my next guests are here. Mm -hmm. I don't say who is it. Uh, you still have we have three more. Four more songs, so you have 
time. Mm-hmm. So my my guests who are next next to you, we have another band today. So All right. just just let them know they can relax. We have four more videos. <laughs> so I would say we play New Hope, great track, and live. Yeah. Free area.
Tack så mycket! Tack så mycket, ja. ändå. <laughs> Tack så mycket, ja. <laughs> Tack så mycket, ja. Yes. Tack så <laughs> Holy fuck, you know. This is amazing. This is epic. Yeah, it, it's... I don't um, imagine if I hear this live, you know, it must be... Uh, the guy... Yeah, unfortunately, the there's a pandemic and it's been hard to do do these kinds of stuff, but we are really waiting to be able to do this live again and to play the old songs. It's always yeah. fun. Always good to play live. Oscar agrees. Yeah, absolutely. This then is fantastic stuff. And film our shows. When when is the next show? Do you do you, do you have anything? We have actually nothing planned. We're we're in in the process of recording our new album. Uh, oh. It's 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 finished, but but uh, it's in the mixing process and artworks are in the making and that all that stuff. So we decided not to pursue the live thing. It's been a pandemic. We had offering to do some tour with. I don't remember the band name. Uh, which one it was to do? Uh, to be a warm up, warm up act, sort of. But uh, there wasn't time for it at this point. So, unfortunately, nothing planned today. But tomorrow it will be. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We have we have uh, on the from the first to the third October our next mm -hmm. metal marathon. The mm -hmm. second one, mm -hmm. we are doing 60 hours non stop metal. Wow, we, we did our first with 50 hours. So, we have will to you stay our... awake all the whole time? Well, <laughs> from, 60, from, from 60 hours, I will be maybe 50 hours. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm crazy. Lots of coffee. <laughs> yes, 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 that's true. <laughs> This is my my coffee cup, and my All right. uh, the fans always support me and, and send me a coffee money in PayPal, you know. And then I fill up, fill up, fill up, and drink coffee like a like a maniac. But you know, I'm crazy, you know. Now now I know I'm crazy because <laughs> 60 hours is is a little bit too much. But you know, now we have to do it. There's yeah, no, sure. no mercy sure. on myself. Yeah, it reminds me of our guitar player Patrick. Uh, I was like, I, I'm, I drink very little coffee, maybe a cup a day. So I, I asked him once, "You drink a lot of coffee, right?" Yeah, 20 cups a day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it's know, crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> One of our guys, what the fuck, Mikkel, he's our champion. He did 50 hours plus the the, the anchor. You know, uh, he was mm -hmm. here 50 hours nonstop. 50 hours, he's our champion. So he have to beat his own record, 50 to 60 hours. I All right. So huh? he will have some 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 wood sticks in. <laughs> But this motherfucker, he he, he do it. No, I tell you. <laughs> All right, we have one now. Two more songs. Oh, great song. A little bit for the shaking again, because it's oh, like it's a cover. Good. It's I, the shadow of your sins. Great track. What's what's behind this story of this song? This is um, uh, this is actually written by Thomas, and uh, like me, it's I think it's uh, personal for him. His inner thoughts, and uh, he has been in a dark place. I don't know how much I'm s supposed to tell about that, but it's it's uh, inner demons and uh, to get rid of them and. Uh, Uh, I like that song a lot. It's uh, I like to sing it. So in change of life, you had your inner demons out. Yeah, and, and, and this, of, this, this is his. Thing. So <laughs> a, a, a little darker. It's a little darker, you know. Than my my, my lyrics tend to go like more to uh, fantasy, and Thomas has also that part of him, but he also can write real dark lyrics. And it's not always about him, but uh, he he can see the world a bit dark in a beautiful way and put words on it. Dark in a beautiful way. This could be a, a title for a song, huh? Dark in yeah. a beautiful way. Yeah. Next <laughs> album. No. Right on, right on. Copyright. Yes, I'll be part of this. 
dark in a beautiful way. Mm -hmm. I like this. Yeah. All right, here we go. I, the shadow of your sins, from the album The Gathering.
holy fuck. <laughs> you know, I listen to songs already, you know, and I listen to three albums already, and 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 always I said, "What the fuck? You know, this is amazing." You know, the last time I really had this feeling when I heard in the eighties, two thousand lovers. This was from TNT. This when I was like, "Wow, what a voice!" You no, know, and this is another what a killer voice. Sorry, Oscar. <laughs> Today he steals the show. <laughs> well, good. Wait for the new album. Mm. Holy jumping It'll Jesus! Blow your mind. You, Oscar, you agree? Yeah. But you also you are you are a fucking machine, Oscar. I tell you. <laughs> I'm old. You know, I tell you what. If you listen all the, the catalog, there is only one thing. Masters at work. Everybody is amazing. The whole band is amazing. Yeah, the only only bad thing about us is we make few albums. We only we've been around since 1998, I believe, and we made only three albums. So we should make more of it. But you know what? The good news is the next is in the work. So yeah, and uh, we actually it, it finished recording, so it will definitely come. So the only thing what you need is more videos. Yeah, yeah. Because because <laughs> our 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 audience today they get a shaking they get, they get, they, after the show. <laughs> well, I have a tip. If 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 the image shakes like this, you just do it same with your head so it doesn't shake. <laughs> Micha, he does this now. He's uh, has a, a trauma, you know. <laughs> <laughs> There was so. this story about a car factory guy worker in Gothenburg who was watching the wipers. If he was checking them, so we're working. So we got home, his eyes would go dick. <laughs> <All the time. laughs> Don't know if it's uh, true. But... <laughs> I forgot to mention. I I, I put always the, the the link for 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 the albums. So all three albums are available. Yeah, on, uh, on there the... are. Um... Uh, I don't know if the first one is able to first are able in a physical format, but the digital, the Spotify and YouTube and Deezer and or whatever you use, yeah. they should be on every everyone. And soon we get a fan package. You confirm, yeah. right, Pazzi? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna send you a fan package so you can Perfect. draw out to do some lottery. <laughs> And Perfecto. I will do one more videos, I promise. Yes. And if you need videos, if you need good videos, like lyric videos, mm -hmm. our guy, Micha here, who, mm -hmm. who is always posting, he's, uh, he's also a colleague from, from Rock of Angels Records, he's Black mm -hmm. and Damned, the guitar player, mm -hmm. and he produces videos. So if you need great, great videos, he is the man, I tell you. All oh, right. Yeah, we should do a little bit more. We we were active like uh, before the gathering in the early 2000, and during that time it wasn't that easy to make video. It was so costly, and we were a little bit too small of a band to have the budgets from labels and stuff. To to we couldn't afford it. It was like it would cost, and we don't want to do like a bad video. Uh, uh, It should look decent at least, so we don't make fools of ourselves. What is what is what is more bad than a shaky video? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Better than nothing, right? Better than nothing, yeah, yeah. No, sure. Can I tell you, Micha, he will make not a shaky video. He makes great videos. Check out Black and Damned videos. All six, all six Black yeah. and Damned videos, all made by by Micha. Great yeah, stuff. Sure, I will check it out. We we. We're actually we will do some videos for our new album, and uh, we have uh, two guys in Gothenburg, uh, which have done our past videos. They both we only have made two official music videos, and they made them both. Yeah, But right. uh, I'm, I really don't know if they're still in business, or I need to contact them and see if we can work something out. But uh, it's always interesting with lyric videos and whatever you know. It's Always interesting, of course. This brings us to the last song, and this mm -hmm. is a video. We have two videos, yeah, one in the beginning, one in the end. We said we start with a high, we go, go out with a high. Yeah, I really enjoyed the interview. 
great great band great voice thank you very much I'm, I'm, i enjoyed it too me too the, the thanks, thanks oscar you came in late but you came yeah you yeah. brought a little bit we, we, we need we needed oscar we needed a sex symbol you know so we had oscar you know? <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> He's the, he's the, he's the, he's the, he's the, uh, I don't know if it's called in English, hunk. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> he's, he's the motherfucker. He got the girls. Yeah, right? and I, 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 understand, I, I understand a little bit German, so I have read the, the comments, and uh, I would like to thank everybody. Yeah, like you don't, for... you don't understand what they're right there. They're, they're, they're writing a lot of junk of bullshit, you know, pink and pink means uh, cheers, you know. Yeah, but there's someone who actually talks about music and uh, like my voice, and I would like to thank you for those kind words. I think Nadine, she's also in our our team, mm -hmm. and she she really freaks out with you. She loves your voice, Nadine. Oh, thank you, Nadine. Thank you. All right, Metalhead, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. You yeah, you bye. Took your time, and was it was one hour and forty two. You know, I, I told the, the, the next band, uh, uh, please lock in maybe nine o'clock. You know, maybe maybe uh, the interview is not so long. You know, <laughs> so now they have to wait, wait, wait. But I have a big mouth. <laughs> God bless your big mouth and mice too. So, Oscar, Parsi, thank you so much for coming. Great band, all the best, and I hope I see you again between first and and third October to the metal marathon. If you yeah. like to do, uh, yeah. I send you the list and you log in. We have only afternoon and, and or late night. If you are late night, but no. the problem is you have to log in where 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 I am because I am the only one who really speaks English, except one of of our colleagues. But I don't know who, who, when when he's available. But if you see where is my name and it's free an afternoon, for example, come and bring the bring the band on a Saturday or Sunday, and let's let's rock together again. With yeah, sure. Sun, and here's the last song. Here is Dark Vision. Thank, Thank you so very much. much. Thank bye you. Bye. All the best. Bye. Bye.
Ui, da ist noch einer da. So, das waren Fraternia. Was für ein Brett. Also bei mir donnert es im Gebälk, jetzt kann ich sagen, ich habe knöchel jetzt im Kopf. So schaut es aus. Volle Lautstärke. So, Freunde, ihr habt euch gewundert, was ist da der zweite Band, was ist da heute halt los? Ja, ich, es gibt dieser Metal News Flash und ab und zu kommt mal eine Band rein. Die kommt aber erst im November, aber die sind so cool, dass ich nicht, weißt du was, kommt da mal rein und stellt es mal kurz vor, also kurz Interview. Und wer da kommt, das werde ich euch jetzt gleich feststellen. vorstellen. Moment. Es gibt noch einen kurzen Einspieler. Und bevor ich sie reinhole, zwei davon sind hier von der Band. Er von dem Video, jetzt wird's dark, Freunde. Jetzt wird's abgefahren. Das ist richtig cool. Hier sind, und das ist, äh, diese Band wurde empfohlen von einem unserer Mitglieder, von Ludwig Schmallover. Jawohl. Und hier sind, erst mal ab, er kommt.
ist die Königin und das Licht für mich. Habe ich gesagt, mächtig. Und es wird gefragt, sauber draus und wo beziehbar? Na, das könnt ihr jetzt selber fragen. Hier ist jetzt der Thorsten und der Eisberg. Servus, Grüß euch alle. Hi, moin zusammen. Hallo, Ron. Irgendwie kommst du mir Kopf wieder. vor, Thorsten. <lacht> Gerade noch gesehen. Passt ja, passt mein Kopf überhaupt rein? Ja, geht. <lacht> alles, alles gut. Gut. Jetzt werden Sie dir wundern, was ist da heute los? Jetzt haben wir zwei Bands heute schon da. Ja, das haben wir eine ja. Ausnahme, dass man mal nicht irgendwie alles mal gleich läuft, sondern ihr habt Release-Party, ne? Release. Allerdings, wir waren ja schon voll, bis unter das Dach. Aber gesagt, weißt du was? Wenn ihr schon Release habt, dann kommt er rein. Macht mal ein kurzes Interview. Danke, Richie. Hör mal. Danke. Hey, danke, dass ihr gekommen seid. Freut mich. Und ja, wir ist auch, uns. Vielen, vielen Dank. Ist was ja, schön, dass wir hier sein dürfen. Wir haben ja am Samstag Release-Party gemacht, mal wieder, und auch mal live gespielt. Das war richtig, das sitzt noch ein bisschen nach, aber es ist sehr gut gelaufen. Halt mal in, in, in die Kamera, Vogelsberg. Ja, genau. Hier ist die schöne Laissez-faire Lucifer. Dieses Mal komplett selbst designt. Ich will natürlich nicht zu so viel vorausnehmen. Wir haben aber noch eine Sondersendung darüber. Aber wir sind ziemlich stolz auf das Werk, kann man anders nicht sagen. Schreib mal im Privatchat einen Link, wo man die Scheibe erwerben kann. Ja, selbstverständlich. <lacht> Ran an die Butter, ne? Sag mal, sind deine Augen wirklich so brutal oder hast du da irgendwie Linsen drin gehabt? Äh, in dem Video, jetzt war es so, dass wir das spontan gedreht haben, mitten im wirklichen krassen Corona-Wahnsinn. Und da sind wir nachts los, also es war bitter kalt, minus zwei Grad. Und äh, wir haben so mit so Gegenlicht gearbeitet und das machte die Augen so intensiv. Aber die Kamera war auch sehr gut, musste ich sagen. Ne? Ansonsten sind die ja so, also meine ja, Frau sagt, sind, Die sind genauso schlimm hier. Ja. <lacht> ja. <lacht> so, Moment mal. So, passt mir auf, liebe Freunde. Jetzt habe ich auch das gleich in den Chat rein. Da könnt ihr gleich mal zuschlagen und die Band hier der ist zu lang, dass ich das jetzt also so schaue ja, aus der Link. Aber den gibt es auch nicht nur da, den gibt es auch, also bestellen könnt ihr auch, wenn ihr möchtet. Ihr könnt natürlich erstmal reinhören, auch in unsere Sendung am 1.11. Bestellen kann man auch bei Saturn, bei Mediamarkt oder bei Nuclear Blast und World of Music, wie sie alle heißen. Also eigentlich überall verfügbar. Ihr seid bei oder halt streamen, ne? Und oder halt Blog. streamen. Aber wir sind halt eine echte Oldschool-Band, also wir sind ja immer sehr viel live unterwegs. Also dieses Jahr war es ein bisschen knapper und letztes Jahr und sind da schon sehr, also mit Vinyl und CDs halt quasi immer unterwegs und ja, in diesem Metier halt, ne? Aber ihr könnt das Zeug streamen, äh, streamen wie ihr wollt oder gibt es halt überall. Seit Freitag. Also unsere, seit unsere Fans da draußen, die sind eigentlich alle, die kaufen gern. Die wollen das, das Real Deal, die wollen... Da, daher gleich mal die nächste Frage. Äh, wir fragen immer die Bands, ob wir ein kleines Fanpaket bekommen. Ich mache Werbung für euch. Ich werde auch dazwischen immer wieder mal ein Video für euch spielen. Und dafür schenkt ihr uns ein kleines Fanpaket, was für die Fans ist. Das sind die da draußen heute. Das sind äh, meistens unser Fanclub, wo jetzt aktiv ist. Man sieht ja nicht alle, die, die, die jetzt nicht eingeloggt sind, die, die wollt auf die Fernseher schauen zum Beispiel, die werden gar nicht mitgezählt. Aber die, wo jetzt gerade eingeloggt sind, die sieht man gerade. Und das ist meistens unser Fanclub. Und da trifft also keinen Falschen, kann ich gleich sagen, weil das sind die, die wissen es zu schätzen. Und ja, wir sind immer froh, unser Zeug in guten Händen zu wissen. Ja. Aber gut, die wissen es zu schätzen. Und die Reaktion war gleich ganz cool, als ich, als ich losgespielt habe. Und dann, oh, gleich, oh, Sommertruss, oh, cool, cool, cool. Zack, zack, zack. Und dachte, okay, passt. Und Tamo sagt, kaufen, 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 kaufen. Jawohl. Sehr gut. Ja, Richie, ich meine, was packen wir denn in so ein Fanpaket? Ich meine, wir können äh, auch vom Vorgängeralbum eine Vinyl reinpacken, weil jetzt vom aktuellen Album ist halt die Vinyl noch in der Mache. Ähm, da haben wir jetzt so eine CD. Äh, wir können das mischen, so ein Fanpaket. Ich weiß gar nicht, was, was, äh, was ihr da so... Ja. Kondome. 
Kondome. Ja, das habe ich nicht, ich bin verheiratet. <lacht> das war ja ein Witz. Ach so. <lacht> okay. Ja, wir haben ja alles mögliche. Shirts haben wir ohne Ende. Also, Kaffeetassen. <lacht> Ihr glaubt es nicht, wir haben sogar schon ein Effektgerät bekommen. Ein Effektgerät unterzeichnet, hat jemand geschickt. Da, je, je mehr drin so Aufkleber, Aufnäher, Shirt und so, je schöner es ist, umso, umso und wenn viel drin ist, dann können wir es auf zweimal machen. Da brauchen wir das komplette Paket, da können wir es auf zwei, dreimal machen. Und mhm. wir spielen auch immer dann ein Video. Wenn die, immer freitags ist unsere eine Versteigerung und unsere Raffle, da haben wir so einen großen Topf mit unseren Bällen drin und, und unsere oh, Fanclub-Mitglieder haben wir alle jeder Nummer und dann wird es gezogen. Haben wir immer seine Fee, jetzt hat er Stopp und dann zack, und da ist sie. Und der Dominik sagt, die Gurkentruppe nimmt alles. Jawohl, das stimmt. Die nimmt alles. Der Volkmar Jakobs ist in Facebook, was ist mit dir los? Folgt mal rüber bevor es weg ist. Normalerweise <lacht> wurde es echt, dass wir noch draußen sind, zwei Stunden und zwei Minuten. Folgt mal rüber zu YouTube, bevor es weg ist. Alle, die wurden noch auf, heute sind ganz viele auf, auf, auf Facebook. Ich lasse einfach nebenbei mitlaufen und danach wird die Sendung eh dort gelöscht. Aber alle, die jetzt auf Facebook zufällig das erste Mal dabei sind, alle rüber nach YouTube. Na? YouTube, da könnt ihr auch unseren Kanal abonnieren. Wir sind jeden Tag von Fre Montag bis Freitag am Start ab 20 Uhr. Und tja, was gibt es zum neuen Album zu sagen? Wir wollen aber nicht zu viel verraten, weil wir haben ja noch eine Sendung, eine komplette Sendung. Was gibt es denn im, im Schnelldurchlauf zum, zu sagen, zum Album? Ja, also wir machen ja mit Zaubertrust, das ist unser sechstes Album mittlerweile, immer ähm, und verwurzeln halt gewisse äh, Themen in so ein Konzept. Und diesmal war das Konzept der Fight mit dem inneren Lucifer. Und dann haben wir in jedem Track halt uns äh, hingesetzt und das äh, thematisch und musikalisch äh, beschrieben und auch zu jedem Lied eine Art Icon angefertigt, selbst gemalt übrigens und dann grafisch von uns ausgearbeitet. Und äh, ja, die Grund, Grundlage war immer so, die, ähm, wo der Text halt drum handelt, ne, um äh, die, die Psyche und um das äh, Miteinanderleben und äh, ja, das so, die soziale Gesellschaft halt. Ne? Also ja, ziemliche so Niedertracht, Hass und Wut ist drin, aber am Ende kommen wir immer mit der Hoffnung um die Ecke und um das Gute in einem, gerade bei den Metalheads. Und ja, da bist du das ist so bei richtigen, an der richtigen Stelle. Denn wir haben lauter gute hier. Lauter, lauter geile Metalheads. Ja, genau. Kommen wir auch gleich zum nächsten. Und zwar, wir haben vom 1. bis zum 3. Oktober zu Mickey bekommen, vorher unser Metal Marathon. Und wir haben noch ein paar Morgen- und Nachmittags äh, Slots zu vergeben. Würden wir euch gerne einladen? Okay, Sehr gerne. Wobei, wobei. Es ist fast naja, ein Monat vor, vor der Sendung. Nicht, dass wir zu viel verraten. Da haben wir nämlich die Sendung schon. Das überlegen wir uns noch. Da, da lassen wir uns noch den Kopf gehen, ob das gut ist. Weil wenn wir da eine Stunde, haben wir eigentlich schon alles verbraten für die Sendung. Machen wir. Grad, der Volkmar ist jetzt auch in, in, in YouTube. Wunderbar, Volkmar. Sehr. Der, was hat er 100 Gramm Aufschnitt und was von der Fetten. <lacht> Diese ja. Berufsschule. So, ja, das war's gewesen. Ein kurzes Interview. Schön, dass ihr da wart. Ja, wir danken dir. Vielen, vielen Dank. Wir sehen uns. Unser, unser erster Livestream, ne? aber der zweite wird super. Bitte. Ja, ich habe gesagt, jetzt machen wir es kurz, weil ich will jetzt zu viel verraten, damit wir am ersten noch was zu quatschen haben. Die ganze History und und und. und. Aber ich wollte euch mal zeigen und eins müsst ihr mal verraten. Die erste Szene im Video, ist das ein Krematorium oder, oder was ist das? Ja, das ist ja quasi, also das ist eine, eine Art Krematorium, das haben wir im Fernsehstudio aufgenommen gehabt, wo wir mal an der Serie äh, teilgenommen haben. Ähm, ja, das haben wir da aufgenommen halt ne? und haben das halt verwurzelt mit in die Szene. Ja, cool. Jetzt kriegen wir noch Besuch. Unser Präsident vom Fanclub. Der wird vielleicht noch eine Frage stellen. Auf die Wappen zu reisen, oder? Ja. Herr Stoffel, bitte zur Kasse. Herr Stoffel, bitte zur Kasse. Da ist er. <lacht> Servus, Mädels. Hi, Servus. <lacht> Stoffel, ich grüße den Abend. Lang nicht mehr gesehen. Je schöner die Menschen, ja. <lacht> das hast du gesagt. Du hast noch, ein, ein, du hast noch ein, eine Liebesbotschaft. 
Thorsten, ich liebe oh, dich. Oh, schön. Ah, ja, du, das ist für dich, ich liebe dich auch, mein Schatz. Das hört der Stoffel nicht, ne? Ja, also meine Frau ist halt immer dabei seit äh, Jahren und äh, auch bei jedem Live-Gig und managt auch so ein bisschen die Truppe, weil die Truppe ja so einen Altersunterschied hat. Ich bin ja der alte Ossi Osborne verschnitt ne? und ihr seht schon unten im Bild, der ist ja äh, doppelt so jung wie ich und so ist auch die Band, aber die Band selber, Sauber Shoes, gibt es ja schon seit 14 Jahren und äh, ja, ich ziehe da dann immer weiter äh, durch. Ne? Sehr, sehr cool. Ist doch gut, wenn, 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 er, wenn er frischer Wind reinkommt, oder? Ja, wir werden dir also Richie einiges erzählen an der Sauberhistorie, weil die Band hat schon, schon einiges äh, gefahren. Also Boah, und ja. ist jetzt im, seit vier Jahren in diesem Line up und äh, ich weiß noch, erste ja. Gegner haben die gesagt, guck mal, aus die Osborne Familie. Äh, mittlerweile kriegen wir das nicht mehr zu hören, weil wir doch live schon sehr mächtig sind und sehr viel Spaß verbreiten und Action auf der Bühne. Es ist schon so eine äh, sehr bunte Familientruppe fast, also so zusammengewachsen halt, ne? Mit allem, was dazugehört, weil wir uns ja sehr, sehr oft sehen. Und auch jetzt ist der Aaron mal woanders hier. Ne? Da war es noch bei mir. Grüße dich. Ja. Weißt du, das ist schön am, am Heavy Metal. Wir haben äh, so viele Mitglieder, die sind Paare bei uns. Und ja. die ziehen zu zweit zu, zu, zu den Konzerten oder zu unseren, zu unseren äh, Veranstaltungen vom Metal is Forever. Und es ist doch schön, dass, dass, dass der Metal so verbindet. Ja, Und in einem Fall perfekt. Okay, äh, Stoffel, hast du noch was zum Fragen? Hast du eine Frage an die Jungs? Äh, ja, ich habe mir nicht vorbereiten können, weil du weist mich ja nicht ein in deine Geheimgäste. Ihr kommt aus Baden-Württemberg, oder? oder? Nee, äh, das ist Köln-Bader Raum. Also genau. eigentlich aus Siegburg. Also wir proben in Siegburg, aber wir touren halt relativ viel rum, also sind viel rumgetourt mit dem Vorgängeralbum. Da sind wir halt deutschlandweit. Also so ganz unbekannt sind wir nicht, aber auch nicht so groß bekannt. Also wir sind eine wahre Liveband, die sich das erarbeitet. Und ab und zu mal auf dem Festival spielen darf, aber sonst sind so kleine Clubgeschichten. Aber Baden-Württemberg waren wir auch schon oft. Wir haben mal in Stuttgart, ist das, ne? Stuttgarter Ecke ja. äh, gespielt. Ja, ich weiß nicht, kennst du das äh, Roa Seefest? Ja, also vom Lesen, ich war noch nicht dort. Noch da haben wir mal gespielt und das war wie so ein Stadtfest und das war richtig geil. Da waren keine Metalheads, aber den haben wir es richtig gegeben <lacht> und das hat echt gebrannt, da muss ich sagen. Also, ja, ja, ja. das hat sich eingebrannt. Ja, ja mit unserer Firma noch viel vor. Wir wollen ja viele Konzerte machen und da brauchen wir natürlich so eine Bands wie ihr. Ja, gerne. Ja, ist schon, ist schon speziell, dann. Stoffel, musst du sagen, oder? Ja, ich liebe sowas. Das ist ja das genau ist speziell. <lacht> ja, ja also man muss schon eintauchen in die Saubertrus-Materie, weil wir doch jedes Lied ja. anders gehalten haben, weil wir uns ja so, so ein, also man sagt uns immer nach, so ein Genre-Mix machen, aber wir haben unseren eigenen Sound, wenn man die ganzen Alben mal sich hört, haben wir den eigentlich verfestigt. Und wir haben so eine Hardcore-Fangemeinde mittlerweile uns auch aneignen können. Aber wenn jemand Neues dazukommt, der muss immer erst sich reinarbeiten. Das erleben wir immer. Jetzt haben wir natürlich saugute Kritiken gekriegt von der Platte bisher. Da werden wir mit überhäuft. Da sind wir auch ein bisschen überrascht, weil sonst immer sehr viel Gegenwind kommt. Jetzt mach doch mal Trash Metal, jetzt mach doch mal Doom Metal, was machst du jetzt Gothic, ne? Das ist bei uns einfach so. Das kann man auch kaum erklären. Das, deswegen sagen wir immer, wir machen so einen äh, progressiven Groove-Metal. Eigentlich ist das Groove-Metal einfach das ist Metal und Rock und fertig. Aber das ist das, halt so. Das ist ja das Tolle. Das ist, wenn ich jetzt zu Airborn gehe, dann höre ich eineinhalb Stunden Airborn durch die Bahn. Genau. Und bei genau. euch höre ich halt immer was anderes. Und das <lacht> ja, das ist stimmt. Toll. Also ich ich brauche sowas. Ja, aber das war von Anfang an so in dieser Band. Das hat sich einfach weitergetragen. Und jetzt haben wir durch den Aaron, der. Ne? Aber mittlerweile ist er ja nicht mehr jung, ne? aber mit 17 in die Band kam und äh, haben wir viel mehr progressive Elemente noch drin, aber ja, ich will nicht zu viel verraten, weil das kommt in dieser Historie, wie ich ihn kennengelernt habe, wo er ganz klein war. Ach, das sind alles. Durch euch wurde er verliert, ah, sozusagen. Ja, ich will nicht zu so viel verraten hier. Ja, aber ich muss sagen, besten Dank nochmal an unseren Ludwig, der euch empfohlen hat. Ja, vielen Dank, Ludwig, wenn du gerade zuhörst. Ja, und das ist es. Wir haben so viele geile Metalheads, die wo uns äh, Bands bringen. Der Dirk, der Ludwig, Peter Krause, Chaos und, 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 und. Nadine, Erik, ach, so viel bringen uns jetzt schon geile Bands daher. Und das ist das beste Beispiel. Es funktioniert. Wenn ihr jemanden kennt, Kontakt herstellen und schicken und dann kommt sowas raus. Dann haben wir die, die Sobertrus am, am, am Hals. Ja, yes. Vogelsberg, du bist immer am Grinsen. Das, das, da, da werden die, die Mädels draußen sabbern da draußen. <lacht> naja, naja. Nö, okay, mein Lieben. Das Danke, dass, dass ihr gekommen seid. 
Wir freuen uns. Danke schon. dir, Richie. Dankeschön. 1.11. Dann gibt es das volle Programm, das, die volle Show und viele Videos und, und, und. Da gibt es Zauberdus vom Allerfeinsten, in der ganzen History. Okay? Super. Und Richie, eins noch, das, wo das Fanpaket hingehen soll, das schreiben wir dann nochmal, ne? In der E-Mail, wo du den Login kriegst, da ist unten der Headquarter. Das geht ah, okay, alles klar. Bob S. Alles klar, weiß Bescheid. Da ist die. Und da freuen wir uns. Und in diesem Sinne, danke für den Vielen Besuch. Vielen Dank. Wir danken. Wir Jungs. Vielen Dank. Ciao, ciao. Genau. Und weiter geht's gleich mit der Band. Die sind am Freitag am Start. Jawohl. Mhm. Hier sind Metal Inquisitor mit Free Fire Zone. Here we go. <lacht>
am 17.09., also Freitag, Metal Alter, Inquisitor. Das haben wir noch nicht dann. <lacht> Hier ist wieder. So, okay, lass mich ein bisschen was erzählen. Wir haben ja äh, letztens über leise. unsere... Leise bin ich? Ja. Jetzt besser? Ja. Jetzt auch? Okay, wir haben ein bisschen über den Versand gesprochen letzte Woche. Erstmal vielen, vielen Dank an alle, die wo uns hier eine Spende zukommen haben lassen. Wir haben uns sehr, sehr gefreut. Wir haben jetzt am Wochenende alles, was von den vergangenen Verlosungen war, verschickt. Außer die, die wo am Samstag bei mir kommen, die äh, zu mir kommen, die können es da direkt abholen. Wir haben jetzt auch ein paar Packstationen eingerichtet. Das heißt, äh, der Peter Hirsch sammelt unten in, im Schwarzwald in, in Rottweil für ein paar oder, oder nimmt äh, die G Geschenke an. Äh, ich nehme für den ganzen Münchner Augsburgerraum an. Was magst du? Gewinne, nicht Geschenke. Ja, sind ja Geschenke. Gewinne. <lacht> Gut, Gewinne. Und äh, so sparen wir uns doch einen großen Teil äh, von, von den Portokosten. Die Nadine ist für Tirol zuständig. Die sind alle schon informiert drüber und wir freuen uns, dass du uns da ein bisschen hilft dabei. Dann wird das nicht ganz so teuer. Das war übrigens ein geiles Wochenende, was ich so gesehen habe. Ne? Ich habe so ein bisschen ja, jeder Rande war auf Konzerte, jeder war irgendwo ja. unterwegs. Nadine hat Garage Days getroffen, geil. Ja, geil. Ja, die Heike, Freunde, ja. Sascha und Gisela haben sich im Norden getroffen. Der Peter, ja. die haben abgerockt. Und Leute getroffen, richtig geil. Genau. So macht es Spaß. Genau. Für die große Sause am Samstag schreibe ich noch in unsere Gruppe rein die Details. Wir fangen so um 19 Uhr an bis 21 Uhr ungefähr. Dann ist fertig. Gehen wir alle ins Bett. <lacht> <lacht> äh, ja. Wir machen rund um die Uhr. Du machst ein guter Witzeerzähler. <lacht> <lacht> Neun in der Früh, meinst du, oder? So ungefähr wird es ausgehen, ja. Ja, eben. <lacht> Gut. Weiß man schon was von, von der geheimen Band? Ich weiß es ja selber nicht, wo wir dieses Video aufnehmen am 16.10. Da wird man nichts erfahren, soweit. Das bleibt geheim. Das ist immer noch geheim, oder? Wann, wann, wann wird das veröffentlicht? Weil ich habe das ja bloß nebenbei mitgekriegt. Das wird vom Label, gab, sobald es ein Label frei gibt. Okay. Auf alle Fälle wird es ein Hammer. Ich bin, ich bin neugierig. Ja, könnt ihr schon. Ist geil. Ich habe ihn schon gehört, den Song. Ja, Und geil. ja, klar. Und ich weiß ja, welcher Star dabei ist. Geil. <lacht> <lacht> wir, wir telefonieren gleich. <lacht> naja, du darfst du vielleicht sogar wissen. Ja, ja, ich, ich rufe die morgen mal. Ich muss jetzt nachher weg, dann gleich. Okay. Hast du uns sonst noch was an Kerbholz? Oder ja. auf der Leber? Nix? Nein, ich bin voll im Vorbereitungsstress für Samstag und auch für 16.10. Dass das alles funktioniert. So, schauen wir schnell, was da irgendwas noch von okay. ja Anja, es gibt ein zweites Fanclub Treffen im 16.10. aber das ist leider schon lange Zeit restlos ausverkauft <lacht> Stoffel hat schöne Haare <lacht> ja, ja die einen sagen so die anderen sagen so das hat zu dir noch keiner gesagt, gell? oder? Nee, haben sie, haben sie auch keinen Grund, was sie sagen, wenn wir letzten Federn. So, jetzt brauchen wir wieder was zum, zum Runterkommen. Ich habe heute mal eine Nummer gewählt, mal eine Ballade. Die kenne ich Vorletzte schon. Saison. Die Balladen. Na, wirklich eine Ballade. Bin ich gespannt. Und ratze mal, wer das singt. Ist jetzt mal, mal, da muss man jetzt auch wieder mal unsere, unsere Einladung mal ein bisschen mit reinnehmen ins Geschehen. Here we go. Weiblich oder männlich? Oh. 
Mama, to try and break me The window burns the light away back home A light that warms no matter where they go They're off to find the hero of the day But what if they should fall for someone's wicked way? Still the window burns, comes and slowly turns Someone there inside Keep us off the flames, do you feel your nerves? Do you hear your pain? Mama, you try and break me Still they try and break me Excuse me while I tend to how I feel Things we turn to me that still seem real Now they certainly this easy chair But the rocking stops by wheels of despair The watch your rain but the fist I've made for years won't hold up no, I'm not on me So please excuse me when I tell you how I feel But now the dreams and with the king screams That ever last through the night So fill the wall behind it Crawl and hide until it slides you hear your babies cry now Still the window burns, comes and slowly turns Someone there is sighing What's up the flames? Can't you feel your names? Can't you hear your babies crying? But now the dreams and waking screams that ever last the night. So build a wall behind the crawl and hide until it's light. So can't you hear your babies crying now? Mama, you try and break me Mama, you try and break me Mama, you try and break me Mama, you try Mama, you try Mama, you try. try and break me Aha, das wird der Flo am Samstag als Geburtstagständchen spielen im Luftraum. <lacht> so schaut's aus. Die, die dabei sind. So, da würde ich sagen, wir haben es geschafft heute. Eins noch haben wir noch. Halb zehn. Und nee, der letzte, ja gut, ja, zwei Stunden, 26. Ja. Bis die Saison vorbei ist, dann haben wir zweieinhalb Stunden. Perfekt. So, der letzte Song ist auch mein letzter Song. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Und alle, die neu sind, die Anja Oberle zum Beispiel, die habe ich halt noch gar nicht gelesen, zum ersten Mal. Unseren Abonnieren da oben, unsere, unsere Glocke abonnieren, unseren Kanal abonnieren, seid jeden Tag dabei. Wir haben jeden Tag geile Bands. 
Und vielleicht kann man die mal in unseren Fanclub begrüßen. Wir brauchen wieder Frischfleisch. <lacht> so, dann schmeißen uns alle beide raus, oder? Jawohl. Genau. Toffel, ich wünsche dir was. Tschüss, wir sehen, hören uns. Genau. Und wenn es Lust hast, können wir kurz danach noch reden. Ganz kurz, ja. Okay. Und jetzt kommt zum letzten Song heute Abend, ist der Gentleman, der Getrüst, von der wo morgen da ist. Nämlich der Igor Gianola, der Getrüst von Corleone. Geil Getrüst. Und hier sind Corleone und Tell No Lies. Ich wünsche euch gute Nacht. Bleibt geil. Genau Stay gut. heavy. Morgen, 20 Uhr. Ich zähle auf euch. Jawohl. Servus. Gute Nacht. Bleibt gesund. Ciao.
Don't forget, metal is forever. Rockcast show. So stay tuned, enjoy the show, and don't forget to rock and roll. Bye bye. Die Metal is Forever Rockcast Show wird euch präsentiert von Time for Metal. Die neuesten Reviews, Interviews, Eventberichte, natürlich alle News rund um Metal, Rock und Metalcore. Time for Metal. Fliesen Spitzner, ihr zuverlässiger Handwerker für alle Aufgaben rund um das Verlegen von Fliesen, Platten, Mosaik und Naturstein. Luftraum Fürstenfeldbruck, die Rock- und Metal-Kneipe. Jede Woche von Donnerstag bis Samstag Rock und Metal vom Feinsten. Der Vegan Ashes of Rock'n'Roll. Veganer Lifestyle ist lebendiger Rock'n'Roll. Wir sind Rebellen. Wir sind Veganer. Wir lieben das Leben und leben es mit jeder Menge Spaß. Backguard Studios. Zusammenarbeit mit Indiscreet Audio. Das Metal Dream Team für die metallischen Produktionen vom ersten Ton bis zum fertigen Produkt seid ihr bei uns an der richtigen Stelle. Meldet euch unverbindlich bei uns. The Metal is Forever. Schwammerhandler, Penshop, Story More, der offizielle Partner der Metal is Forever Rockcast Show. Rock of Angels Records, von Metal Fans für Metal Fans. The home of rock and metal. Roar!